and welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin and today I'm bringing you an antique home decor haul. If you are new here, then welcome. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Over on my channel, we talk all things home decor. I love antiquing and thrifting. We do room makeovers, organization videos, and everything like that. So if that's something you're interested in, then please subscribe and join the fam. I would be happy to have you. Since moving out of my parents' house almost a year ago, I have really focused on my antique collection and curating a lot of unique, fun pieces for my apartment. I love mixing old and new, so that is kind of what I do the most of. As you probably know from my channel, I love sharing with you all the things I've been buying for my apartment. I have a nice collection here of things that I've recently gotten that are antiques or vintage, so I wanted to share those with you. It's gonna be a little bit of a smaller haul. I am absolutely obsessed with everything, so I'm super stoked to show you. For some reason, I find it kind of difficult to find the antiques and vintage pieces that I love and always see on my Pinterest here. I live in Canada. You can also follow me on Instagram at Dwyer Home Studios where I share a lot of the stuff before it makes it to YouTube. So if you would like to have sneak peeks and see what's going on sooner, then definitely follow me there. And yeah, let's just jump right into today's antiques haul. So first store I'm going to start with is called the Heirloom Shop. They're an online store and I picked up a few things from them. So the first one being my like all time favorite thing to buy apparently, which is a dough bowl. So even though I have a few of these, I really liked the shape of this one. I didn't have any that had like these prongs and I really liked that. Uh, this one was 23. I still have the sticker on it. Um, it's called the Saranda Bowl and it's in the small one. And I just right now have this on my coffee table and I put my remotes on it. And it's really nice because I have a white coffee table that's like the cheapy Ikea one. I've been looking for a coffee table, but I haven't found the perfect one yet. So that was supposed to be a temporary coffee table and now it's almost been a year. I really like the contrast again of old and new. So having this against the white modern coffee table is really nice. Oh. Pots and vases and vessels are something that I absolutely love to buy. I think they're so versatile and you just need to have them in my opinion. But I get a lot of them at HomeSense, which is great for the wallet, but I really, there's like a specific look and vibe in which I've wanted a pot for a long time. And this is it. So it's the perfect shape and size and it's got so much character. I love the aging and the whitewash of it. It's got a plastic thing inside, so you could have like real florals in there, I guess. For a little while, I used it as a utensil holder, but I have since switched it. So now I just have it on my console table with some pompous grass in it, but I absolutely love it. I was gonna say, do I still have the price? Definitely check them out for their pots. I am really obsessed with this one. And lastly, from Heirloom Shop, which I think I actually showed this in my kitchenware haul, but I wanted to reshare it in this video since I only got a couple things from Heirloom Shop. In case you didn't see my last couple home decor hauls, definitely go check them out. But I got this little bowl and these were, I believe, like old measuring cups. So you can get them in three different sizes. This one is the smallest one. It was $18 and I kind of misread the description and thought you were getting all three, which is kind of funny. Anyway, I just keep our like flaky salt in it and I actually keep it right here. I really like it. I've been toying with the idea of getting a bigger size so I could put like an onion or garlic on it. I think that's really cute. And then it kind of makes sense because it's a darker wood. Um, and I have a lot of like lighter wood pieces. So I think getting another piece of that, someone is FaceTiming me. Sorry, so what I was saying is that I feel like at first when I was trying to style it, it was a little bit out of place because everything was so light wood. It just it wasn't making sense. I really like it now that I paired it with like my black salt and pepper. 
shakers, but I think having a second one would make it look more purposeful. So I'm definitely gonna look into that. So that's everything I got from Heirloom Shop. They have a lot of really great stuff, so definitely go check them out. And next, this is not antique, but I just wanted to share this one thing that I got from the thrift store recently at Value Village. I got this little bowl and it reminds me of the like CB2 bowls, like a paper mache bowl-esque. Like I really love when they have the ribbed um, piece. I honestly have absolutely no idea what to do with this, but I just have been styling it on the shelf and I really like it. Okay, and the next online vintage thrifted found antique store <laughs> is called Rug and Weave. I'm absolutely obsessed with her shop. Let's see. The first thing I got are these two gold pots. So this one is bigger than this one. I just have this fake Ikea plant in here. So I actually like it came in one of these but it wouldn't fit in this tiny pot. So I just ripped out all the like things and shoved them in. So I guess that's a little hack for you. And now they're all gonna come falling out, but I just styled that on the shelf nicely. And I really like this. So it came as a set of two. They were very light and kind of tin. I love the aged look and it looks like they're like patinaed. So really cute. I definitely like this gold slash brass color. Lastly, from Rug and Weave, I got this. Oh, it's, oh my God, I almost fell over. I got this huge wooden pedestal. So not me never reading the measurements and dimensions, thinking this was one of those cute <laughs> things to put beside your sink to put hand soap no it's ginormous i still am obsessed with it so i kept it it's a really nice color wood and yeah i just really like it so i usually have it styled here i just put some stuff there for the video if you had a huge kitchen island with your sink then maybe you could use this for that but i just do not have the space also it could be really cute beside a stove where you can put like your salt and pepper shaker even like your utensils, but I just don't have the space, but maybe one day. So really obsessed with that. Definitely check out Rug and Weave. She's got so many great things. Next store I want to share with you is called Maison Pear, an amazing online shop. I got this gorgeous vintage rug. I actually saw it posted on Instagram and then rushed over to her website to order it. I'm super excited because I was doing my kitchen at where we are makeover and I have this new like coffee bar appliance area and I really wanted a cute place for you to just be able to stand that's like cozy because it's tiled. Those small vintage rugs are a little over a hundred dollars but I think they could work in so many spaces. So even if you were to get tired of it, I don't know why you would, but get tired of it in the kitchen, you could put, even put them in your bathroom. I think they're so gorgeous when people have those vintage rugs in their bathroom. I think there's so many uses for it and I absolutely think this one is stunning. The color palette just really goes well in the room and I'm so happy that I found it. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna share before the absolute best things I've gotten recently I'm gonna share something that's not actually antique, but it passes the vibe check. So if you're like me and you love antiques and you're always on Pinterest, they have all these beautiful old landscapes and like oil paintings. And firstly, they can be super expensive. And secondly, they could be hard to find. So there's a couple antique places in my area that I've seen some of those kind of art but even still it's not exactly what I've been looking for so anyway I was at Michael's one day and I found two painted well two pictures this is the first one so I couldn't even believe it I picked it up immediately it has got this gorgeous wooden frame and then this super cute landscape I I love everything about it. So this one was $30. Michael's has a lot of like 40% off, 30% off coupons. So you can definitely get it cheaper. And compared to having a real 
authentic antique vintage painting like this that's a really good price and you're still getting the same vibe so if you're on a budget like i usually am then this is definitely a good option for you check them out and then i didn't even know it could get any better and then it did because i found another one and this one's even bigger <laughs> So it's got the exact same wood frame. And then we have this landscape. This one was a bit more because it was bigger. This one was $50, which is a lot, but it's still cheaper than buying it vintage. I really love these. I'm gonna hang, I think one of them up in the kitchenette. So stay tuned for that makeover. And then I'm not really sure where to put the other one. I've styled it like on the shelf before and like on the windowsill so we'll kind of have to see where that goes but i've been really happy with those and playing around with them and i'm very excited that i found those at a great price so this next place the grand finale i can't even believe that i found and have these because i they're all over my pinterest board it's all i think about i when I think of like my favorite antiques and like my favorite vintage pieces like these next two things are something that I've been wanting for so long so I was on Facebook and I found this person and their place is called Green Turtle Salvage I took their card it's this man Isaac Northcott and he gets con shipment containers from Europe and anyway I drove to his little shop and i already kind of had an idea of what i was going to get but he's got so many great things i think he mainly has like uh dobles i would say like that's definitely the show stopping pieces in there so first i picked up this round doble and i just so you know i have so many dobles at this point but i don't have any circle ones so that's how i justified it to myself it's huge. This is literally what dreams are made of. I can literally not wait to style this. I picked this up yesterday for you. It would be like last week, but I am so happy. Like they have these things on Etsy, but the shipping can be so expensive. And I just was like waiting and waiting. And anyway, this place is not cheap, but it's antique. So that's, you kind of have to understand that. So if you're in a position to get stuff like this do it like oh my god i just am not i cannot be happier and then the next thing that i got from him was this breadboard i like i can literally cry i've been wanting this this exact thing for so long and i couldn't find it here and i found it and i'm just like oh my god so you have to follow him on instagram it's at green turtle salvage follow him and go shopping because i just like and i need another one i need a bigger one so i can layer it i need more i'm gonna spend my whole life's earnings at his store i'm so happy so those are all my newest antiques that I've gotten. I'm so excited for all of them. I'm so happy that you could join me for today's video. If you liked it, then please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It would mean the world to me. I hope you can follow me along as I continue expanding my collection and furnishing my apartment. Hopefully one day let's manifest together a beautiful house with some land, a beautiful big marble island with a huge breadboard and <laughs> lots of dough bowls and yeah okay oh and lots of breadboards up over the sink with a pot filler okay, we'll see you next week's video bye